Welcome. So this is going to be a good problem because um, I think a lot of students can create you know, slope triangles and they kind of get the idea and they understand um, the slope of finding the change in the y over the change in the x. But then we kind of throw a vertical line at them and it's like, uh, not what I do. Because if I have these two points, which I created these two coordinate points, which is going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have the point 5, comma 2 and 5, comma negative 2. All right. So I said you can use, you know, create a right triangle or create a slope triangle by using horizontal lines and vertical lines. But we notice they lie on the same vertical line. And remember, when trying to determine the slope, we want to be able to determine what is the change in the y over the change in the x. Now, I can plug in these points and I can find the change in my x coordinates over my y coordinates. But what we notice is my x coordinates are not changing at all. They're both 5. So horizontally, my graph is not changing. It's only changing vertically. So if I just wanted to subtract these two points, if I wanted to find the slope, um, I can't create a right triangle because there's no change horizontally. So I'm just going to find the change in my y coordinates. And it doesn't really matter which way you go. Um, we'll just do 2 minus a negative 2 over 5 minus 5. And if I want to find the change, that's a double negative, which will become 4 over 0. And what I notice is, again, 4 divided by 0 is going to be undefined. And that's going to happen for every vertical line you have. When you have a vertical line and there's no change horizontally, your slope is going to be undefined. Thanks.